What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. We decided to take it back to the old school, test some more old amps. Today, we have from the late 80s, approximately 1989, Autotech Bass Thrust Amplifier. This is the 7100 BTS, but we have got it hooked up. We're going to try it on the amp dyno, so stay tuned for the results. All right, guys, here we have the Autotech model 7100 BTS, 100 watts, four ohms, Z Audio design, Steve Mance designed these amps. It's back from the late 80s, about 88, 89, this series was out with the blue sticker here. This amp's in great shape, but as with most old school amps, what a mess. It's got this hateful Molex plug. Uh, we got it wired up here to a terminal strip and then we've got the power and ground going into distribution blocks so that we can uh, more easily hook it up and get it going but uh, anyway just want to show you guys the rat's nest here but we have got it hooked up we're going to try it on the amp dyno so stay tuned for the results you guys may have seen my earlier test of the 7300 this is the baby brother now let's walk around the amp here and see what it's all about again these old amps had treble controls up to plus 12 db bass controls up to plus 18. these are very popular on these old school amps because these were full range they didn't have any crossovers built in or anything so people like to use the bass controls on the amps there's the gain and there's the RCA is very simple design. You can see the power LED there, protection LED there, made in the USA, of course. This was this was designed by Steve Mance, Z Audio, and made for Autotech. And not much on this side. You just got your eight gauge wires coming out, and then you have these hateful Molex plugs for the speaker and the remote turn on. All right, here we have the Autotech 7100 BTS on the amp dyno. We're running all the modes bridge, so we're gonna do a certified run uh, at eight ohms, and we're just using one of the two channels. So we're running this in the two channel mode here. And we're running the one kilohertz track and see what we get. 1% distortion starting off with about 14.1 volts. hundred and twenty three watts fourteen volts all right so now we have the jumpers installed we're gonna do certified run at four ohms mono amp is rated at 180 watts there you go 224, 14.1 volts. All right, let's try a dynamic run at four ohms mono for the Autotech 7100 BTS. It's gonna simulate music playback. It's gonna be a burst tone. Good deal, 244 watts at 13.9 volts. Can this amplifier do even more power? Find out after a quick note here from our sponsor, patreon.com slash old school stereo. We have several supporters at patreon.com slash old school stereo and thank you guys for your support. It helps us get through the monthly costs involved with running old school stereo. And also these guys get behind the scenes perks and benefits that not everybody else gets to see. So if you'd like to support us for as little as $1 per month, check us out. Thanks for your support guys.
watching my videos please click here to subscribe and share with your friends whoever likes amp test car audio things like that click here or watch some of my old videos i'd appreciate your support this is big d Wiz, old school stereo.com until next time i'm out of here